This is Jib Radio and I'm here with Sally Holmes, national coach of the Gibraltar Rhythmic Gymnastics Association. Hi Sally. Hi. How are you? Fine, thanks. Right. Um, I remember rhythmic gymnastics years ago and it's nothing like what I've seen today. The level of professionalism and talent that is now in Gibraltar is immense. How did you start, you know, that, that progression from, what was it, 15 girls that you started with? Yeah, nine years ago there were 15 girls and basically I think as the girls have improved and we started competing in the campo and we started winning, we've got more and more girls. Since then we've got more and more experienced coaches, everybody's qualified in, either in Spain or in England. Mm -hmm. And we brought on board Jolene, who's Jolene Gomez, who's our choreographer, and Hema Fernandez, who's an international judge and coach. Right, so it's built. <laughs> but how many girls do you have now? At the moment we've got 120 girls. 120 girls, that's amazing. And all the you use all the apparatus? Yes, when we compete now in England, different age groups have to have different apparatus. And um, it used to be just freehand, but now it is uh, the under 11 girls have to be able to do three apparatus. Right. Which is the hardest? The hardest for them at the moment is clubs. Just because if they're throwing both up, one could come down and hit you on the head. <laughs> but also rope is quite difficult, just holding its shape. Yeah. And uh, you've had, was it four girls winning the British? Yes. Yes. <laughs> that must be very proud yeah. of Well, Sean Holmes has won it two years in a row. So she's back to back on that. Nicola Bossier has won it. And Gabrielle Edwarden has won it as well. Amazing. And you, you've also competed in Spain? Yes, well we compete in Spain. This year we were actually allowed to compete in the Promesses and we competed as Gibraltar in the Andalusian Federation Championships. <laughs> um, all the girls that competed, we came within the top 10. So everybody that competed um, came overall in the top 10 and we also got placings as well. So it just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> well at the moment as well we've also got um, Georgina Casar. Uh, she started with when she was 13 and she's been training really, really hard with Nicola Borsio and last year they went to the Commonwealth Games. Mm -hmm. It was the first time that Rhythmic Gymnastics competed at the Commonwealth Games for Gibraltar. Right. Uh, Georgina actually qualified to go through to the finals and um, with the testing that was done at the end of last year, she's actually qualified to, in the team for the 2012 Olympics. So we have a, an Olympic winner right there. Well, I don't know about winner because at the moment Italy and um, Russia are amazing, but it will be the first person from Gibraltar to go to, to the to Olympics. Attend. That is just <laughs> mind blowing, honestly. So where to next? As in, obviously the Olympics is just <laughs> amazing, but are you thinking like, even further like America or other places? Well, at the moment I think my 10 year plan put down Commonwealth Games because I really didn't think they would go to the Olympics. Um, in 2014 we've got Glasgow and uh, so that's another Commonwealth Games which we want to take a team to so we can compete in a team event. The girls are practicing behind you now, they're doing um, for group, we're trying to um, go to the British group championships mm -hmm. so we're hoping to bring home a, a title from group. Um, these girls will also compete in the village. Right, so um, we also, hopefully, we've, been, we've got about five invitations to go overseas. Mm -hmm. So we get to compete internationally for the girls as well. But it's also really expensive. Right, so sponsorship would be the, the <laughs> Sponsors way. would be fantastic. <laughs> if they sponsor us, they can put their name on a t-shirt yeah. and it goes on the website. We have an official website. Well, considering that somebody in you know, representing Gibraltar in the Olympics, I think that that's the way it has to go, really. You know, I think so. A lot of other you know, sports do get sponsorships from, from a lot of you know, companies here in Jib. And well, we've got a lot of girls competing and we do really, really well. Yeah. Obviously, I'm, I'm really like impressed with that. So am I. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it is mind blowing. Is it really real? real? Like, yeah. Well, oh, that's amazing. Yes. Good luck with everything. Thank you. Very Good much. luck to the girls. You know, I hope they do very well. Is it tomorrow that they're off to the UK? No, we only go. Um, we leave on the 28th of October, of October, and then the finals are in November. So as soon as I get the results, I'll send them to you. Yes, please. Thank you very much, Sally. Thank you.